This episode is brought to you courtesy of Netsol Technologies, adaptive to your business, your growth, and the future. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Tech Check, and as always, bringing you unique and inspirational stories from the Pakistan tech ecosystem, and sometimes outside of the tech ecosystem. Today, I'm very fortunate to have with us a very accomplished young woman, Lareb Ata, who is a visual effects specialist and works under the Disney umbrella with industrial lighting and magic, and has worked on films like 10,000 BC, X-Men, and current series like WandaVision on Disney+. And with that, Lareb, welcome to the show. Thank you for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure. <laughs> it's a pleasure having you. And Lareb, you and I have been talking about this for a while, and as you well know, I always want to bring people to the show who have something different to offer and maybe will help inspire those of us who are stuck in some traditional things. So with that, Lareb, the first question to dive right in, what inspired you to do this? Uh, there's so many things that happened in my life <laughs> that led me to this path, I have to say. Uh, to begin with, when I was young, I was born in Lahore, Pakistan, and growing up, I used to be very quiet, shy, and reserved, uh, mostly just staying indoors in my corner. I loved uh, reading books and listening to music and drawing. Art and design was just my passion, and watching anime features. So when I was young, I watched um, uh, Pixar's Toy Story at a very young age, and I, I, I was absolutely in love with the film. Of course, I was nine. I didn't know what VFX is, what this is all about. I was just intrigued by the storyline, the characters, the animation. I didn't know what VFX is back then. I, I, Not many people knew about VFX anyway. So I didn't know at that time I was going to get into this. But it was something always uh, regarding technology or art and design. I was really, you know, fascinated of. So when I, was, uh, when I grew up at the age of 14, we moved to the UK. I finished my A-levels. I took a gap year. Um, I had a placement at City University for architectural engineering, but I wasn't sure if that's what I wanted to do. So I took a one year gap. And that's when my brother, Samuel, he's also, he was a aspiring artist and singer back then. Mm -hmm. My is doing so great now. Uh, so he suggested one day, Laurie, maybe you should do visual effects and, you know, help me with my music videos in, in future. So. That was like the moment, the, the spark, you know, that was like, oh, my God, I, I need to look into this. This sounds interesting. So I started researching more into VFX and I, I came across a really good school, uh, Escape Studios uh, in London. And I applied. I got accepted. And my first day I, w I joined, it w I was the only girl, only Pakistani. I was the youngest. Everyone else there was uh the age of 24 or plus, mostly in their 30s, they still had some experience and industry experience and knowledge and background in VFX. I had zero knowledge, zero skills, and I was just 19. But I had, like, I was fully excited and I had a willpower to just go in there, learn all these amazing tools and uh, how this is all done. I was just so focused. Um, so that's how I got into VFX. I, it was a five, six months intense course. Uh, we, we were starting really hard. And after I finished, I was already offered jobs at, at massive studios. I, was, I started working for Disney commercials and George, um, uh, George Michael uh, album promo and Rolling Stones album promo. And then I jumped into film projects like 10,000 BC and Chronicles of Narnia and worked for big studios like MPC, uh, The Mills, all based in London. So yeah, I started very young. Uh, so that's my story. That's how I got in. <laughs> that's, that's a fantastic story and very inspiring. You know, what, what we're always finding is my personal passion is seeing people in Pakistan and then those people coming and getting involved in mainstream media because whenever we are involved, it always brings a very positive impact to us. As a yeah, family. absolutely. So that's wonderful. 
So I think the next question is, you know, this is wonderful. And obviously we can't wind back and consolidate a journey into five minutes. Yeah. So what I thought would be good is for those Pakistanis who are aspiring to do something in the creative world, any words of wisdom? I mean, uh, definitely be focused, uh, finding what you really like, uh, what you want to do in life. Finding a passion is, is sometimes hard for everyone. Just take your time. Just like how I wasn't sure after A-levels, I took a gap year. I wasn't sure I wasn't wanting to do engineering. Mm. That's the standard thing for us, isn't it? Engineering, law degree or, or medicine or be a doctor. So is, this is a standard, very limited options given to us that this is what you have to do. So having some time off really can help you, you know, step back, look and observe what, what is it that you really like. This, this today, back then I had nothing like, uh, you know, uh, Instagram or social media. Uh, but now it, there's so much out there online, you can search through, you can, you can do your research, you can study and so much can inspire you out there. So it's important to know what you really want to do in life. What's 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 your passion? What is it that you like? Don't don't listen to everyone else what they want you to do. But I think it's important to understand what your skill. Give yourself time. It's okay to to take that time. And once you know, I think uh, this uh, every platform like LinkedIn, Instagram, people like myself, we're always out there trying to approach. I'm a mentor myself. I, I get so many students approaching me, asking questions like, how did you get into the industry? Can you advise us as well? I give them advice on their show reels. I give them advice on what kind of uh, courses, what kind of institute or schools they go to, they can go to. So it's it's important that the help is all out there. Also, I had a like five, six year gap in my career um, uh, because I got married. I became a mom as well. So that was that was another challenge for me. Once I got back to the industry, I really struggled finding work. So I was out there, I was on LinkedIn, always messaging people like recruiters and agents, um, you know, companies. I was applying everywhere. I would message everyone out of the blue that how, how can I get back in? So through networking, I found my way back in to companies like DNEG and ILM. And then since then, I've been working on films like Mission Impossible, 007 recently, No Time to Die. Fast and Furious, Nine, Tenet. Um, so you really have to push yourself. But I'm. It's it's all about just using the tools which are provided to you right now out there. You know. Uh, that's wonderful, and very inspiring to hear. And and you know what I what I I guess would also want to dovetail into is there's definitely a creative side that has to be you know brought about. How does technology and the understanding, the use of technology impact your work? The, the job requires both uh, technical and creative skills. And some people are more technical, some people are more creative. So you have to find your spot. You know, uh, with the team collaboration, that's the best thing about this job. I work with so many multi-talented people in this industry. I'm mm -hmm. working with Oscar-winning teams. It's so inspiring to be right next to people like them and, and, and you know, understand how everything works. So there's always a collaboration. You're always talking to people, your supervisors and leads. And, and VFX is so diverse like we have so many different departments and 3d is one 2d is one and then 2d there uh, there's more categories and 3d as well so we're always talking to each other and collaborating and bringing ideas together so it's it's all about collaboration uh, some people are both technical and creative some are just creative some are more technical so it's just bringing your ideas together you know and it's, it's all just it just works in a flow. It's, it's, it's amazing. I always say VFX, this industry is so diverse and it's like the best mixture of people from different backgrounds. Either you are more in numbers like accountancy or you're in more management, you can join the production or you are a software engineer, you can join the R&D team or the tech team or you're more creative, you are a concept designer, you know, you're a concept artist you can still join this industry. It's just so vast and 
is for everyone. So I always tell my students and and the mentees that you know there's something for everyone in there. Oh, that's fantastic. It's it's really inspiring to hear these these stories and and you know this is where the fusion of technology and creativity really come forward, right? It's something you see, and you know I'm a big fan of a lot of the movies that you or the series that you're involved with. So that's that's always it, it makes me feel warm inside knowing that we have a positive impact because you are a Pakistani uh, lady, and that's a that's a great thing to see that. And with that, I wanted to just come to my, you know, last question. As you know, we try to keep these sessions relatively short and and informative. What would you recommend for someone who's, you know, wanting to start in this journey today? What what would you do differently? You mean advice for young people who are starting? The yeah. best thing you you need to know right now that especially for our community for Pakistanis that things are changing so like dramatically and so quickly right now the how the digital content is so much digital content is being created at the moment right. you know platforms like Netflix and Disney Plus and Amazon they are making so much content there is so much work there is endless work. You know, before parents would be worried about why why our kids want to go into a creative industry. You right. know, why do they want to be directors? Why do they want to be filmmakers? There's no job scope. But that is not the case anymore. That's it's everywhere. It's like there's we lack people right now. We lack talented people right now. So we it's it's, it's this is this is like open opening doors for everyone at the moment. And also you know, with with the with the pandemic and so much happening, what's happened on on the political level as well, uh, more diverse and in, inclusivity in, inclusivity is being you know promoted in companies like ILM and all these big, big studios are trying to recruit more diverse talent. So there is an opportunity out there for you. For me, back then it wasn't. I had to fight through. I had to break down so many barriers to come here to this point. But right now, there is so much out there uh, for for people like myself, you know, people of color, especially Pakistanis. We Pakistani people are so talented. We have so many stories to tell, sure. and you know, uh, if we just you know push ourselves, we 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 can we can make it. And companies are opening their doors, and people like myself, if there are even few, I think we need to. You know, we are doing our part, and I think the infrastructure in Pakistan itself as well needs to build itself to a level where we both come together and bring those platforms for for young people. Oh, so, fantastic. Yeah, that's that's the main things I, I believe, but opportunities are coming. People just need to believe that we can do this and, and equally, you know, parents need need to be more more supportive. Our communities need to be more supportive towards the young people. That's a great message, Lareb. And you know, very I personally am very Warm by the fact that you can pass that because here's the best part of the situation. You're a true testament to what success brings in this world. So that's a great thing. And thank you. And we as Pakistanis love success stories. <laughs> so, oh yes, I know, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> and and with that, Lareb, I wanted to uh, very very much thank you uh, for being an inspiration to a lot of people and spending the time with us today to share your story. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure. Thank you. And with for our audience out there, as you can see, look, we're always trying to bring a different twist. There's still technology involved in this, a lot of technology, but this is a real interesting fusion of where creativity meets technology and how impactful that is in our world. So with that, please continue to like, share, subscribe. Tech Check is all about bringing great stories to the forefront and inspiring people. So please look forward to having you. And with that, Allah Hafiz.